All right, let's talk about the French horn. We don't know exactly why we call this a French horn. Maybe one of the reasons, maybe that back in the day in the earliest core of orchestral music, it was written corps de chasse, which is French for hunting horn. We don't know, maybe one day we'll know. We love the French horn because it's an instrument that blends really well with all the sections of the orchestra. The French horn is a giant. You can use it as a solo instrument, you can also use it as a doubling instrument. We love the middle register because of its velvet-like tone. On your plugin, you have it here on the left side of the orchestra. And the range of the horn is really extensive, well, depending on the skills of the player, but most of the time it goes from B1 to F5. Uh, it's really, really large. The low register, which starts here on this B1, on your keyboard, up to D3 here. This is quite effective when you play it at a piano level. Quite sonorous, we love this sound. You can use it for chords. We love the horns because they usually take the lead for thematic task. The middle register from this E flat here to this other E flat. Quite nice, very mellow. We love this. Then you have your upper register, which is from this here up to your F. And this one is very intense, brilliant. We love this beautiful tone starting here. Very bright and powerful. What are the musical functions of the horns? They can be compared to the violas of the string section. They are the bridge between the higher brass instrument, the trumpets, and the lower ones, trombones and tuba. The horn section can support the harmony with pads and also support the rhythm with some staccato passages. Usually a horn section is made of four horns. When we write four horns, we write two notes harmony. So let's say you have this C chord, an open fifth. So you have your horn one and your horn two that's going to play this. And then you have this duplicated to your other horns, your three and four. So you can play up to four notes, chords. And of course you can assign beautiful melodies to your horns. Remember the best register for this is the middle one where you have this velvet-like sound. Let's move to the trumpet. The trumpet has been part of the human culture for a very long time, and it always represented military strength. Uh, so has the horn, it was used to announce things, war, disasters. Like the violin in the string family, the trumpet is the smallest instrument in the brass family. It can play high notes, it can play loud, it can play soft. You can use it for staccato passages, you can use it for long legato. We do enjoy this beautiful instrument. The overall sound of the trumpet is metallic, bright, but also quite dark in the low register. So let's have a look to the low register here. Quite dark, heroic, we could say. And it's from this F sharp to the other one here. And this one is quite heroic, not as rich as the upper register, but still quite sonorous and quite round. You can use it for dramatic work, build battle scenes, stuff like that. Okay, let's talk about the middle register from this G here to the F sharp. And this is where your instrument is shining. This sound is piercing through the entire orchestra and it cannot be achieved by any other instrument. This is really beautiful and piercing sound. This is the register that you can use for solo passages. Uh, you can use it for thematic tasks and also you can play it piano and it sounds quite nice. Then you have your upper register from this G here to this C6. And well, it sounds kind of like the middle register, but not as prominent. And this register usually is used for jazz music, quite appreciated by 
jazz musicians. What are the musical functions of the trumpet? Well, since it's a quiet, agile instrument, it can play melodies, it can harmonize also, and play some rhythm patterns, let's say staccato passages. Also, the trumpet is quite used in orchestra to build climaxes or to emphasize a part of the song. The trombone. The trombone is the only instrument in the brass section that uses a slide mechanism to alter the pitch of the instrument instead of valves like the trumpet or other instrument. The name comes from Latin tromba, which means trumpet, and one, which means large, so basically, it's a large trumpet. Uh, the most used trombones are the tenor trombones and the bass trombones. Those are the ones that you will have in an orchestra. Bass trombone can play lower note. What's the difference between both is only that the interior tube for the bass trombone is larger so they can play lower notes. The sound of the trombone remains the same through the whole register and it sounds brilliant, powerful and brassy. Let's have a look to them here in your DAW. You have the trombones here, the tenor trombones and the bass trombones on the right side. Uh, when we talk about the trombone, you will hear about the pedal tone. There's no pedal in the trombone, of course, but this refers to a low sustained note that is held with the low brass instrument, in this case with the trombone. If we take, for example, this instrument here, uh, the bass trombone, this low note here, this E, this is your pedal tone. So you have this range from this E to this B flat here. This is your pedal tone. It's really low. Maybe this is going to help with your harmony, low, low uh, part of your chord. And then other instruments might outline the rest of the chord progression or the melody, but above. So then you have your low register from this E to the F3 here, which is, sounds mysterious. Uh, it can be used this um, as a bass in harmony, but also to help with the themes. Then you have your uh, middle register from this F sharp here up to your F. And this is where your uh, sound is very intense. And it's sharing the same register as the French horn. Sounds really beautiful and quite brilliant when played in piano. If we compare with the tenor trombone here, and this library goes up to this D uh, five here with the tenor trombone. What are the musical functions of the trombones? They can help the harmony, of course. Uh, they can provide rhythm support too. Uh, usually we stack thirds when we play the instrument, right? Trombones can play in close harmony. Stack of thirds and maybe stack of fourth and fifth. Sounds really beautiful. The bass trombone may double the tuba in unison or in octave. Have you ever heard about Hector Berlioz is a French romantic composer. He's best known for works such as Symphonie Fantastique. And he's the one that brought the tuba to the orchestra. He basically used it in most of his course, if not all his course. And he found this instrument back on the trip in, in Germany and brought it to the orchestra. You have it here at the bottom right of your plugin. And this instrument sounds really smooth, calm. gentle, soft, so many words to qualify this beautiful low instrument. It's like a satisfactory low voice, but for the orchestra. You have your low register from this D one here, up to your F here. Use this low register for a soft low note. Then you have your middle register from this F sharp here, up to this F there, middle register beautiful sounding and you can use it for uh, legato passages 
this is the registry that is mostly used. Then you have your upper register from this F sharp. Very loud and powerful tone here. Especially in 2T passages, it's quite beautiful. What are the musical functions of the tuba? Well, it can help the bass notes of your other section, maybe of the string section, of the woodwind section. Uh, there's only one tuba in an orchestra, so keep this in mind. Usually the tuba will just help or reinforce the bass in your string or your woodwind section. 